Our next guest comes from a U.S.-based Catholic organization that's working to create a more compassionate world by sending missionaries to poor communities in Africa, Asia, and Latin America, responding to their basic needs and creating sustainable improvements in the quality of life. From Mary Nolay Missioners, we now welcome Executive Director Sam Stanton. Sam, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, Sam, tell us more about Mary Knoll Lay Missioners. What sets you apart from other mission-sending organizations? We are the largest Catholic lay mission-sending organization in the United States. And we now have a history of 37 years, and over 700 U.S. Catholic laity have served overseas with us. Currently, we work in six countries, Cambodia, El Salvador, Bolivia, Brazil, Tanzania, and Kenya. And we're single people, couples, families with children, and our minimum commitment is three and a half years, and that really sets us apart. It's one of the longer, what people would consider short-term programs. How do we complete this mission? We live with the people we serve. We celebrate, worship, and pray with them. We accompany them in their daily journey, and we strive not only to offer our skills, but to learn from them what their life is about in their culture. I believe in sharing our professional skills, and through our works, we strive to bring Christ's gospel message a love to others. What training and expertise do Mary Nolay missioners bring with them on their missions? All of our missioners, when they apply to the organization, have to be either university graduates or have a practical skill. And their ministries have to fit into one of our ministry areas, which are pastoral care, health care, education, sustainable development, and justice and peace. Each missioner's skills must be able to fit into one of these categories. Once people are accepted to our organization, the person goes through intensive cross-cultural training and mission formation at our center at Marinal, New York, and then language training in the country where they are assigned. Now, finally, Sam, tell us about your mission. How have you been able to bring hope to the poorest and most marginalized members of the communities you serve? My wife and I have been with Marinal and Missioners for 28 years and served in rural Chile. But I'd like to share two examples of some of our most stellar missioners. Dr. Susan Nagley from Urbana, Illinois, has been with us for 28 years, serving in Tanzania, Sudan, and now Kenya. And this past November, she received the Medal of Valor from the American Medical Association, the highest award they give for her tremendous service to some of the most disenfranchised people on the face of the earth. Charlie Dittmeyer, who comes from Louisville, Kentucky, has worked in Cambodia for 25 years, and when Charlie arrived soon after the Pol Pot era, he discovered that there were no services for the hearing impaired. Through Charlie's services and efforts of other Mary Nolay missioners, there now exists a national service for the hearing impaired. Wow, that's incredible work you're doing. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. To learn more about Mary Knoll Lay Missioners and to make a donation, visit mklm.org. That's mklm.org.